One is set free from the 1500, preferential a little bit slow to go. Silent Crusades right there, and Liquid Irish goes off now to show the way. Mary O has a good possession. Master Keys is on the outside of Preferential. They are followed by Drama Queen, and then comes Petra, and Flickety by Fars the trailer, and that's racing about eight lengths off the leader. Liquid Irish in front, a length and a quarter. Mary O's a little bit strong at the rail in second, and Silent Crusade is third. In fourth position, we find Preferential. Master Keys has been just a couple of niggles, and then comes Drama Queen. Petra is further back in the running, and then comes Flickety by far. They're about to come to the 700, and Liquid Irish by one length. On the outside, Silent Crusade, and Mary O's near the rail. Master Keys and Preferential team up together, and then Petra and Drama Queen, and Flickety by far is about nine or ten lengths off the lead. Top of the lane, just over 400 metres to go. Liquid Irish, the leader. Silent Crusade comes forward. Mary O on the inside, then Preferential. Master Keys is further back in the run. Petra and Drama Queen on the outside. Coming down to the 300 now, and Mary O takes it up. Silent Crusade, the outside. Preferential on the inside, and then Drama Queen. But it's Mary O in command over the last 100 metres, and Mary O will win by about a length and a quarter. Second position will go to Preferential. Differential, then Petra, Master Keys, and Drama Queen. Number one, Mary O, the Oratorio for the Falloon, and Lausanne Forbes, Serena Moodley. And well done, that colours continue to prevail, and well done to them. And the Oratorio wins it, and wins it by a length and a quarter. Second, number four, Preferential. Third place, I thought I went uh, with Petra, will run third. Master Keys, Drama Queen, Silent Crusade. Toad favourite, number four, Preferential. The winner pays up at 370, number one, Mary O. So Mary O with the pink sleeves. Silent Crusade is two off the right-hand side. Petra stays on, Preferential on the inside. But Mary O is victorious. And this is win number three from 13. This one was bred by Connemara Stud. Until the 7th, back to the studio. But before we go any further, my daughter, Stevie, affectionately known as Stevie, he's taking over 1,000 rand. On behalf of Hollywood Bets and behalf of Gold Circle, well done to you, Stevie, your uh, filly, Mary O. She looked very good, and uh, you've been presented yourself very good to the races. Your hat, your lovely shirt, well done. Enjoy the money. Thank you, Stevie. Let's get Lazan in. And Lazan, I'll ask you just to adjust the microphone as you feel. If you're happy with it as it is, that's also fine. Mary O, she's back. She's back in the winner's enclosure. She, you brought her along beautifully from her rest, and she's won today, and she's won nicely. Well done. Thank you, Warren. Um, yeah, look, her first two runs back were very good. And then her last time out was a disaster from the wide draw. She, she actually jumped well when we wanted to tuck her in, and then she, yeah, just over-raced, and you could just put a line through that run. And I think today over the shorter and back against the girls, she put her best foot forward again. These owners, and uh, never mind about the criticism that some might get, you must be part and proud to be part of the family because uh, they've got a lot of trainers, they've uh, got a lot of horses countrywide, and you're part of it, part of the team. You must be very proud, especially after the weekend they've had. Yeah, Warren, I'm, I'm very, very proud. I'm very, very blessed. Um, my relationship with Boss and Suzette goes far beyond that of trainer and owners. Um, they're very close to me, and they've played a vital role, not just in my stable and my business, but also in my personal life. So thank you to them for being a part of my life. And then I want to wish them a big congratulations for their weekend. I mean, Captain's Ransom is one of the best fillies I think we've seen in a while. Um, horses like Valdera come to mind when you see a filly like this going and winning the Cape Flying. So big congratulations to them and the entire Snaith team. And also for the whole Zitzman Ustazen team, congratulations on their fabulous win with Achab. Um, a really great feat to go from Port Elizabeth to Cape Town and um, to, to win in that fashion, it's, they should be so proud. 
Well, well done. We're in KwaZulu Natal today, and you keep the winners coming for those colours. Mary O, what are the plans uh, with her now? Any, anything further? What, what are you, what's it going through your mind, Lizanne? Um, we'll chat to the owners. I think she's definitely fully to keep in mind for the Durban season. Um, I don't know how much we want to travel with her. Um, I don't want to use her up too much. She's already done so much for us. But definitely, I think we need to get her a, a graded win or a listed win. Um, she's a superb breeding prospect, so we want to get that bad behind her name. One more runner to come. What are you expecting? Capriana is going to need it. All the best to you, the whole team. Well done. Thank you. And congratulations to my whole team, Bastian, and Suzette, Serino, uh, Samantha that's joined the yard, Steve, that's my right-hand man. It's just wonderful working with all of them. Spot on. Well said. All the best with this filly. Serena into the winner's area. Well, now you made us wait about four weeks, and, and now you're treating us this afternoon. Bang, bang, two winners. Well done. And in those colours that, uh, well, they need no introduction now. Yes, definitely, Mr. Nefan. You know, it has been a bit frustrating on my side, but look, that's racing for you guys like that. You just have to be patient, and I'm just glad the winners could be coming now. Did you change anything in the quiet patch? Have you, have you structured anything differently, or you just cracked on as normal? Look, I try my best not to change things. I watch a lot of replays and reruns of horses and try and better myself as a rider. And now I've got Mr. Roberts as well on my side, so I can always go back to him and ask him. But So, look, I just try to keep it basic and uh, just wait for the right time to, to come. It's your first win on Mary O. You've obviously you've done a lot of work with her, and uh, you know, it's your first time that you've won on her. And uh, it's the first time that she's won at this course. So it's good, though, because you know, a lot of people were saying, well, maybe she's better at gravel. Uh, she's only a gravel horse. But uh, winning at this course and et cetera certainly helps for the future. Yes, definitely. I think she's a superb filly. You know, she just hasn't had things go away. She's had uh, bad draws and a few of her outings. And today, look, she missed a break as well. But from that draw, you can still end up in a decent position. You know, that's, that's racing for you. But look, I'm just glad to have won her. She's a very nice filly. And look, I'm hoping, hoping she can pick up a few nice races in the season. Well, two for you today. The day is nowhere near over. Let's hope we chat again later. Well done. Thank you so much, Mr. Nefan. A big thanks to Mr. and Mrs. Fulun for the opportunities, to Mrs. Forbes and all team. Sam, they do a sterling job with these horses, so massive thanks to them. Spot on. Well done. Thank you so much, uh, winning form as well. Thank you. Indeed, winning form, a part of the team there with uh, Serena. Well done to them as well. 1475. 1475. And Barcy and Suzette, when you thought the weekend couldn't get any better, it just has. <laughs> Thank you.